sponsor them. The only one I think is the DJ. We have to set the appropriate. Not as bad as it was in school. Oh no, actually, she'll probably have you scan it up there. Thirty. Call to order the March 18th meeting of the Ronald Six Election. First order of business: election of officers. Um, it should be noted that Mrs. Knowles is not able to be here again this evening. Um, we wish for a uh, speedy recovery, and hopefully she'll be back with us very soon. But um, the meetings still have to go on, so. Um, Election of officers is the first order of business for the new select board once the election has happened. So nominations for chair would be in order. Uh, I'll nominate uh, Michael Rollo as chair. <laughs> Just second yourself. Yeah, that's why I'm not kosher, but we can't. Uh, I don't know when it needs to be able to come back. So. Right. Um, I'll second it, I guess. Thank you for that. Any other nominations? 
to look under the table for someone. So, guess not. So, all right, nominations will be closed then. All those in favor of Rollo being chair again, say aye. Aye. Aye, I guess. Thank you. Nominate for an order for vice chair. I'll nominate Denise Knowles for vice chair. Okay, I'll second that. Uh, any other nominations? Seems foolish to say it, but we probably should. Um, seeing none, <laughs> all those in favor of Denise Knowles serving as vice chair for another year, say aye. 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 And nominations are in order for a clerk, and I will nominate Miles Eckler. Second. No, it's Tom Cutler. It's nominated. Second year on nomination. Any other nominations? No? Okay. All those in favor of Miles Inland being clerk for a year, say aye. 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 Okay. We have officers. Next order of business is the approval of minutes of March 4th and 11th. Yep. Are you good with uh, who are they presented? Yes. I like them as well. We will approve them by consensus. Community input. I'm not seeing it yet, but the night is young. Department head business. You want? Do you, they have a lot more. Do you have a lot? Because no, they have. I do not. I like to know better order, anyway. But I get it. If you all feel bad at number of things or whatever. Hello. Just a couple of fields to squirt away. So they can put their SCBA masks in and any other little bit of the components that go with it. 
space for uh, extra batteries and whatnot, because these things require nine uh, batteries to make them all run correctly, so all the parts and components for what you need are always going to be right there. All right. Yeah. All right. So, first order 15 and 15 has been moved and seconded and added discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I need to We appointed me a chair, and I can't even figure out how to fill the form of our own. We consider your vote now. We'll wait until Denise is back. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the coup can happen? There you go. Safe for the effort. of uh, soliciting information for radios. Okay. Two ways are is the main supplier for most of the fire departments in the area. Mm -hmm. They tend to carry just the Motorola. Motorola is the top line, but it also comes with the top price. So we've done some research with uh, Sanford Fire because they run the ICOM radios. Okay. So we're going to, and actually Sanford's going to be nice enough to give us two of their portable radios so that we can use them for a week like to see if we like them. Mm -hmm. But the difference between the two is it all comes down to dollars. So we're going to work the, the, the ICOMs pretty hard because we can get those with $1,000 less per unit. So we can stretch that money a lot further than what we wanted to do. So we're going to make sure it'll handle the capabilities of what we need. And then we'll go from there. But, you know, we're going to dangle that carrot in front of uh, two-way. If we get this price for this, how much can you do for this? So we're going to we're going to play both sides against each other and see where we need to go with that. We yeah. also have another supplier, Ossipi Mountain, which is up the head of Ossipi. They've kind of chimed in too. So you know when they see these things get approved, and all of a sudden they see this stuff sitting there, so they've kind of come out of the woodwork. So we'll okay. we'll try to get the best bang for the buck that we can for the money we have. That's there. the radio that's, that the whole city of Sanford uses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fire department yeah. uses it. Yeah, and they have. Uh, some guys on that part. Right. It's a portable radio, just like we've discussed that we we're going to get. Each one of them has one. And uh, our sister chief, Sean Glynn, is, is uh, very friendly with their radio support gentleman. So he says, yeah, I got some extra. You guys want to use them. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, the way things have been going the last 10 days, I've been seeing Chief Bilotti an awful lot, the chief of Sam. Right. So uh, he was more than willing to uh, help out in anything that we needed to. So we all kind of pooled together. Well, great. So we'll, great. We'll dig through that. I'll, I'll uh, give you our you know, information right. as we get going and what we decide we might want to do. Okay. We jump right on that. I mean, we text and we said it was good to get that information. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then um, the other thing is we're still good to go for next Monday night. Perfect. Okay. Today we're going to set up in the training room. Okay. Uh, talk to Dave with him again. It's about 90 minutes long, his presentation. Okay. And I think it would be great, you know, because I know George and his personnel are going to come, and mm -hmm. PD's coming, and, yes. and all of you folks, so I think that would be very good. Right. Answer a lot of questions, and hopefully get some good feedback from everybody. Pointing in the right direction on some of these issues. And now is everyone at the dentist station doing? Doing well. Okay. Good. Doing well. I mean, it's been busy. There's so many other things. Besides the event itself, we've been in uh, the services that, you know, a week ago. Coming Sunday, I think it is. There's another event, and, and basically, it's kind of starting to play a little bit on some of the guys because some of the events that they have, they just it's not so much fire department oriented. It's the individuals that were on the scene when the incident occurred. So this, this will be the third. Uh, I can't really uh, group where they want to do something for the right. for everybody that was there on that initial occasion. This is going to be the Rochester American Legion. Kind of fight us up there for a meal and you know, all kinds of things like that. And I think some of this is, is it's good. It helps yeah. guys to talk and see each other again right. and get through the process. But it also it's like you gotta come to a point where you have to just move on. Mm -hmm. So I mean after that, that incident the next day we were on another structure fire, so that was actually better. I think that was better for everybody because you could put all that aside and just the day after the services with the suburb and build on it. So it's kind of like, okay, let's get back to doing what we're supposed to be doing and just move on. But other than that, keep tabs on everybody. You know, there's a few individuals which are newer and haven't had to go through anything like this before. Right. 
So I'm talking to them on a very regular basis, and everybody's handling it very well. So I think we're, I think we're with the hump on that end. Okay. And we've been busy, so that helps too. Or if there are things that you need. Yes, I very much appreciate that. Caroline has said the same thing to me every time I see her, so everything's been good. Okay. I'm very supported by, by everybody. All right. Community and all of our uh, mutual aid neighbors and everything. It's been, uh, of course, these things like this bring you together. Yeah, and, and, and not always the best of ways. Mm -hmm. But it's been good. Well, we have a couple of things. Do you have anything else for us? or I don't. Okay. So we've kept the fire ponds on. Yep. It's a placeholder to get past town meeting to start thinking about the coming year. Uh, it sort of came to us late in the, in the yeah. budgeting process, so we want to make sure we're planning ahead for it. Okay. And yeah, we'll get through this budget, let's start planning for the next one. So. Yeah, some of the things we've talked about, maybe adding some to uh, right. augment what our resources are. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to lose sight of it. But no, it's still there. Some okay. of that information is still trickling in. Uh, because you know, I, I told you I'd find some information from some contractors on what they may be able to do. Right. Some of that's still coming in. And then we and we already talked about we're, we're going to be there for the training next week. We're going to meet here at 6 for a quick meeting in case anyone needs to come and talk to us. Yep. And then we're going to head right over. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I know Dave will be there by then. We'll just make sure that you know, we'll get everything up and running and I'll let him know that it'll be long and we'll, just, okay. we'll, we'll get started when everybody's there. Perfect. Great. Anything for the feet? No. You don't have anything else for us? I think I'm all wrapped up. All right. Good. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Good night. Come on up. Yes, no, yeah. I like them. It's kind of one of the things. So, yeah. Do what we want them to do. They do. I think you'd like them. All right. Very good. Another another pot in there. Gentlemen, good evening. Thank you for your assistance on election day. As soon as you got the door off, maybe an hour later, they finally found the key. That's okay. But uh, <laughs> we're very able to get the ballots out. I appreciate it. Appreciate your help. As you know, when the budget passed, we were talking with Ray Lyman, the manager, and they have actually have a truck on the lot. Okay. Built at municipal specs. Okay. Uh, the only thing they have to do is change the dump order. Okay. And that would be three to, two to three months, he said, if they have to order one. If they have one in stock at the factory, it would be quicker, quicker than that. Okay. We ordered the truck that we originally did not have to do. Truck doesn't even expect to get on that lot until October, okay. and puts us in line behind everybody else that has trucks there right. at the factory. So we won't be looking at this new truck until next March. So this truck that's over at Freightliner has all the has all the specs that you wanted, and then some, and then some. Okay, it's uh, seven thousand dollars more options on that truck uh -huh. than they would have been on the truck we we're ordering. Okay. And it's five hundred dollars less. Okay, but it's not seven thousand dollars more. I'm assuming. So no, nope. okay. No, nope. it's actually five hundred dollars less. Less. Uh, the newer truck would have been five hundred over the one sixty five. Okay. This one here comes in at one hundred sixty five thousand. The truck itself, the chassis, uh, value that the sticker price was one hundred fifty eight thousand dollars, and then they adding sixty four thousand dollars worth of equipment with the state bid process and stuff. They got the price down to one sixty five. Huh. Okay. Significant savings. It's also a demo. It's one that's had. Okay. We actually looked at this exact truck and only drove it to the demo. So, okay. So, and that's got everything we want on it that we were looking for. It's actually got a stronger motor in it than the, uh, the one that was going to be in it. The, 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 you know, it's more motor than what we were going to put in on it originally. But uh, it's, it's bigger, you know. It, like I said, it's $165,000. And uh, as soon as we give them the okay, they'll go order that dump order again. If that's what we're looking at. Um, any questions? Have I mean, we sent you the specs? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of how I want to ask this question. The last truck that we purchased, I'd say we attempt to purchase, was not necessarily built probably the, the best way for our types of roads. 
purpose that we wanted it for. We don't have any of those concerns. No, with this truck is this truck smaller, and it's, got, if it's not as big as the other truck. It would fit better on the small in town roads. Okay. Now, I mean, the biggest roads we have heritage. Right. Where you and and which are, <laughs> Right. And yeah. uh, basically, yeah. on our biggest roads, that when using the big truck, we're actually plowing from the opposite side of the road most of the time to, right. get, to get through. So this truck is downsized. You know. Uh, it still has a wing and plows, you can still push the snow back. And, uh, and it's, it's all wheel drive, so it'll make all the hills that we have. It will have enough power to get up and down those Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the standing body, it's part of the truck. It's not a separate unit that goes in the back of the truck. Okay. The sand will come ahead of the wheels, so you always have the traction besides. Oh. It's designed for, it's, a, it's called a four season body. So as soon as we're done sanding, and dump all the sand out, shut the door inside the dump body, you can haul snow. You don't have to pull the sander out. No. You know, it's, it's on a separate component, which is nice. One more I won't say it's one less thing to go wrong, because you've still got the same components, but they're right. built into the truck, versus a separate piece that you got to yank out. So, would you use the <coughs> dump body for, like, gravel, or is that... Anything you want. Oh, okay. Yep. Does that have a... Damage it. No, they have it's it's got a steel door the same same thickness as the dead, the bed of the truck. Okay. So you drop it down over the chain so you're not putting rock and stuff inside the right, chain. Right, right. Okay. To protect it. The um, the international the other bit the big truck that I drive, which I think is the last one. The last one you yeah. well, the last one they bought. Um, that has a conveyor right in the center of the body. Mm -hmm. And if you want to use that for a large amount of gravel, there's a plate that we slide in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. slide in. No big deal, but you just slide it in, you move a little thing in the back, and off you go. So, once again, it's still better than trying to take out that great big sand right. mm -hmm. that's in the back of it. So, definitely. Yeah, and the the items that this has, uh, like the options that this one comes with, were like wish options that we had right. in the back of our mind, but it's things that we didn't put into the original price that we were looking for, like the bigger engine. It'd be great to have the bigger engine. We decided, well, it's Let's go for this, this, and this to try to keep the number down. All right. But then when this one came in, it had this, this, and this. What else? Are besides in? the larger engine, what else? Are the oh, it's a like the upgraded seat. Okay. In it. I mean, it does have electric windows. Yeah. But uh, it's a lot easier when you do have it, especially open the passenger window from the driver's side. Right. Yeah. Heated. Uh, yeah. Heated, heated mirrors. Heated mirrors. Heated, heated windshield. windshield. That's yeah. Heated. Besides, so it keeps the windshield wipers dry. Instead of crossing the windshield, it's yeah, heated probably that high up, right? And then one side. Yeah. Uh, so a few yeah. times, I mean, a few times that I went out, that was the. Uh, that was yeah, the, you could have run the heater at full blast all the time. Sure. Yeah. yeah like a sauna in there. Heater on it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Which doesn't help you when you're trying to stay awake after you. But no. <laughs> right. So. Yeah. Area. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, that's good. It's automatic. Yeah. Uh -huh. All-wheel drive. Right. Okay. Those are the main components to it. It's got air brakes, rear and manual brakes. Yeah. Okay, good. Which is a, a plus in this. It's got the bigger tires, the bigger frame, than the little one that we're getting rid of. It's, you know, it's built on a regular full-size truck chassis, but it's downsized for 26,000 GBW, so it's not required so you don't have CTO. Okay, the other one was built the other way. Yeah, awesome. Small truck right, 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 built right. up. Right. So I'd much rather have a bigger truck built down than the opposite. Right. Yeah, so. uh, any other questions on that? At the moment, in the so it's a 2018 right? It's a 19. It's a 19. It was built. Oh, I see. Yeah, the yeah. last ball. There's no concern you have about it being a demo. No, no absolutely. A little bit actually, broken in. Probably. I actually like it better because it yeah. is broken in. It has been run around. It's done a lot of miles. I don't even know exactly how long, but they might be surprised it's got three or four thousand. But miles. I'm, I'm assuming they've maintained it. It's real. They're right. going to actually. They're going to service. They're going to drain all the fluids and re change all the fluids and you know. It's going to be all set up as new. It's everything. Actually, it's given us a five-year. They've given us the warranties that came with that truck originally. Everything's going to be uh, scotch from the day we signed that, right? And, and, they, and they actually break. had the upgraded warranty: the five-year on the transmission, the five-year on the motor. Okay. We'll, we'll never go over the mileage, but right. I guess yeah, I, was, I, was, I thought about asking the mileage of my map. Yeah, because like the one we're getting rid of, I think only has eighteen thousand miles or seventeen thousand. Yeah, seventeen something. So it's not a lot of mileage, yeah, but it's nasty hours. weather yeah. it's been in, so it's it's time to move it on. Yeah, and we found that the last problem we found was a 
bracket that held the uh, hydraulic lines for the sand that had rotted through and dropped against the drive shaft and that broke the hydraulic lines on that. Section. So our next step then, if we if we approve, I'm assuming that's the purchase order in front of you, is to uh, get it out for sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ed draw up the specs on oh, the, the truck, truck that we have. It's for sale. Yeah, yeah that ready for when you want it. Then I'll put it up for sale. Okay. So I have somebody that might be interested in it. Okay. At you know at the twenty thousand plus range. Okay. It's a trailer park. My son-in-law works at it. The company may be interested in buying that. Okay. So. You know, we're looking at all different ways of trying to get the big buck, best buck we can for it. So, we appreciate it. Wouldn't get rid of it until, mm -hmm. rid of it until we see the headlights oh, of this one right, exactly. <laughs> driving in. Yes, let's not sell it before we get the new one. No, right? uh, no I talked with them. Unless it's July. July. <laughs> I told them it's going to be happening. Yeah. All right. So, and and the plus for them is having the sander in the truck already, too. So, because that sand is going to go away. There's no use, no sense keeping it. Everyone needs it now. So do you, would you have any concerns approving our purchase order this evening? No. Yeah. Nope, I think um, this, this sounds like a... So the, the, the other question uh, is... It's coming from the other side. Yeah. Okay. The other plus for this is uh, the four-wheel drive components on this particular truck are made by Freightliner and not an aftermarket. It's the only truck out there that does that. Huh. Okay. The rest of the manufacturers build the truck, ship it out it's to someone to else market. to be four-wheel drive, and then they'll okay. so, yeah. right, so my other uh, question will be, while it's under warranty, so if there's any issues, we just take it back to London there to get it fixed? Correct, but they also have towing on it. Oh, okay. Two years of towing on okay. okay. warranty. All right, well, let's hope we don't need it. But. Up to $550, so I know it's probably a one-time trip <laughs> with a big truck. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you need to move it, not me, sir. All right, I will move. I will move as the article. Okay. Uh, purchase order 1602 to Freight Freightliner of New Hampshire. Uh, do we want to say this up to $65,000? That's, 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 that's the price. The, the amount of $165,000. Um, reference to Article 8 on the New Hampshire, uh, on the town warrant um, for a New fully equipped plow truck. All right, I'll second that. So the motion is to uh, purchase uh, to Freightliner of New Hampshire for $165,000 for a new the new plow truck, as referenced in Warren Article Number Eight from the March 12th Town Election. Not approved by the March 12th Town Election. So. Any other discussion? Just one other yeah. question. So um, you said it's already red. Yeah, it's out. It's out. I got oh, a picture of it. Our color red. Yeah, I don't know if they. Actually, is the are there additional expenses for lettering? And, and yeah, stuff. the lettering will be it's probably going to be three hundred dollars. We'll okay. add that in most. Already saved, saved five hundred. Then mm. you should be able to pay for it. You put that. You see the other side. I mean, the wind blowing that truck. Right I don't want to get the purple picture now. Is there nothing in there that's not going to be true? So the, the, there's no other, uh, you don't need to buy another plow? Or no, everything is coming it's equipped. It's, it's all all fully equipped, fully equipped, and uh, they've actually, there's a few other options that we have, having them do, they're going to put uh, hot top doors in the tailgate for us. Oh, good. At no extra charge, so. Good. As, at the price that they gave us. Sure. Okay. All right. <coughs> First order 1602, is going to move to a second. Is there any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. I don't know if this is a requirement to sign that quotation price, but that's a little bit of a problem. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. He told me he just needed a purchase order, but at least I'll sign that quote and then we'll see. I don't want anyone else to sign it There's a little something that happens to the old one. It, it sounds like it's starting to make It's starting to. I mean, the last big repair was yeah. 14 or 1600, I think. 
yeah. this last week that we just did was we did it in house because the houses so right. it was under a couple of hundred bucks, but it still it was in the middle of a storm. Right. So yeah, we could use the sand in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anything so. else you'd like to know this evening? I'd like to let you know that we got a call for the brush and having them oh, okay. pick it up by with our, con uh, our dumpsters. Yeah. Of three hundred and eighty dollars a fifty yarder. Okay. And they'll come and pick it up and dump it, bring it back, and we'll load it again. What do we have budgeted for? Thirty five hundred. Oh. Okay. So we want you know how you want to do this. Do it. We got a five yard of five dumpster fold now. That okay. we do that from last year that we didn't get right. checked. And you want to do the partial or do you want to just do it for thirty five and you running have a running PO? So it's like having a blanket purchase order versus right. because you don't know how many it's, it's going to happen at the time. That'll cover up the nine because we're going to use the 50 out of all the time instead of using the small ones. And that should take care of most of this year. Last, what's there and most of this year if everything works out. So I didn't do the PO, I just wanted that one. Well, I would do it ever for next week. I, I'm fine with doing it all at once. And you, you, you keep in track of it. I, mean, I can write. We got one. We got one container full right now, just because we had another place to put stuff. So, um, while you're doing that, I can talk about yes. other transfer station stuff if you want. Yeah, go for it. What else did we have? Um, light bulbs. Light bulbs. Yeah, cool. Yes. Um, like I mentioned before, we started the meeting. We've been going to the NRRA meetings. Yeah. Which, um, really, those are quite valuable to go to. Right. Uh, the meeting before this, well, the last meeting George and I went, prior to that, I took the two Pauls with me, Paul Williams and Paul Martel, uh, which worked at the transfer station. So I took them with me to that meeting. Every time you go to one of those meetings, it also gives you an hour and a half of credit towards your license. So I, I've been enough times, I've got all the credits for my license for this year. I think you need an hour, an hour and a half left. The other guys have an hour and a half left they need. Okay. Uh, so if you visit some meeting, you get the credits, but you also get a tremendous amount of knowledge. Sure. Great. Um, you're going in there talking to people that run transfer stations that have been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. Well, we kind of made friends with the guy from Lee, um, yeah. Toby Van. Yeah. 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 Acre. Van Acre. I heard good things about the Lee transfer. Station. Oh, it's awesome. It's we went, we actually. I've never been there, but George and I took a field trip. I'm well, afraid of this. So yeah. Who's maintaining well, it? Yeah. Praise, you know, yeah. So we went there today, and walking into the place, you think you're walking into a, a mini version of like what Boston would have, or right. what a big wow. place would have. I mean, set up indoors. Everything yeah. is indoors. Wow. The cars drive inside the dump. Oh, wow. You know, it's really amazing. There's two lines. But we primarily went there to, to talk about the plastic bailing. Yeah. That's been giving us a bit of a headache. And we're getting a, we're starting to get a handle on it. Tomorrow's going to be plastic bailing day. Um, just they've got a vertical baler like we have, and just talk about how all that works. All right. So anyway, that's just a little side story um, as to what we're working towards. What did you guys ever do with the <clears throat> the smaller baler that you? That's still sitting inside the the cardboard building. Okay. Is it um, working? That could go anytime we're really. Gonna, now. We're going to actually have to take. We tried to use it. Yeah. It's not holding it's pressure. Not, right? Yeah. Because we're it. putting the money into it, so. And it's, it makes a small bale. Okay. It's going to be a little harder to market than the bales that. The, the cardboard bale that we have makes a standard size. Right. Our the horizontal one for we're doing some plastic makes a larger Got standard it. size. That little one makes. A little tiny bit. Oh, okay. It's like it's like drinking the little water bottles from the <laughs> from the airplane versus the the regular ones you buy in the store. So so we can sell it off. Yeah, what it's uh, actually often is five hundred dollars. Yeah, Atlantic yeah, often is five hundred bucks for it. So it's up. Uh, I I really don't see looking anywhere else to get rid of it except for them. Uh, there's been there's been a I don't know if it's a horizontal I think it was a horizontal baler up in Claymont was it. They had it, and they've been trying to sell that now for well since last September, last earlier last year. It's still for sale for like seven grand, and they haven't sold it though. Um, it's a, it's bigger and probably better than this one, but this one here, when you go to bring the bring the, the ram down and make your bale, but you, you compact it and you put your wires around it. Well, this thing here, by the time you bring the ram down, you go to put the wires around it. The cylinders are already blasted. Yeah, 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 it's not holding. So. And it's a number of things, whether it's the valve or the cylinder, or a, it's it's 
over a thousand bucks to fix it. We know that. Okay. It's not worth. Yeah. And like I said, it's a small bale. Okay. So, so that we'd like to get rid of. Um, I, I didn't want to get rid of it initially because I wanted to make sure that we weren't throwing out something good. Yeah. Go get rid of something good. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. If you want um, to bring something to us uh, next, we can write in. We can take it up, right? To whether we want to sell it or not. Yeah. Okay. Um, light bulbs. Okay. Well, well, why don't we just do this? Okay. Sure. Um, uh, I'll move purchase order 1605 to York Woods Tree Products for $3,500 for hauling brush in the transit station. Second. All those, any discussion? All those in favor of 1605 say aye. 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 Enjoy your. Your long brush and brush. All right, chip in on that. So we're talking to NRA about the light bulbs and the situation we have with the fluorescents. Yeah. Uh, it cost us about 55, 58 cents to get rid of an eight footer. Mm -hmm. uh, in order to do it, we'd have to get a buck, which I think you talked about last week. Yeah. Because we got to cover the cost of the cardboard and couple with the guy sticking the bulb in the box. Uh, they said that through us and through NRRA, a commercial and an endeavor like the mill can go right through them. Oh, through us. So we, we don't, don't need to do it. That. No, no, we don't even need to do it. The other problem was is we we kind of threw out a question to everybody that was there. What do you charge for right. light bulbs? The answer that came back was nothing. Mm -hmm. Nobody that was there charges for bulbs. The fear is you start and they've proven it. I guess you start charging. Is that ending up in the MSW? And we, and we kind don't of, know it. Yeah, kind so, of, kind of so them up. Yeah. yeah. So I'd like to see us go back to not charging. I mean, the last batch of bulbs we got rid of over there a year and a half ago. Um, they've been there a good long time, way before we so we sat again. So we can let the, the cutters know that. And I can let them know exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Give them the contact information. And I'm going to try to work it so when they come and take their bulbs, mm -hmm. they grab what. They brought to us already, and all that goes is a lump, and, that, so, and that'll be the end of that. So, so if you we'll folks are okay that. with that, I just thought to reverse that to go back to no charge for light bulbs or fluorescence. No, we haven't officially. Uh, okay. 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 We haven't. We have, we would have had all the hearing and everything on the paper fee schedule anyway. Okay. So. Yep. But good. that does. If you're okay with that, Miles. Yes. Uh, that does beg the question: Are we good with everything else? Is the current fee structure at the moment? I think, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've revamped a few things over there, like the uh, we were paying fifteen dollars a a refrigerator. Either it's or anything had free on it. We were paying fifteen dollars per item to get rid of. Right. Uh, I now have a company coming in to pump out the free on right. yeah. at nine dollars, and then the item ends up in the scrap metal pot. Right. So we're saving. You know, six bucks there, six to seven dollars, and we're making a few few pennies on the on the item. Okay. So, um, the one thing that we're going to need to look at purchasing, we need we need more storage space. Um, a couple of ways of doing it. One is another small Quonset hut over the tire area where the tires and the appliances are. And I think I priced that last year at around. 14,000? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Um, the other thing we could do is a storage container. A 20 foot container. We can get them through in our RA or we can get it through another source. Um, I didn't talk about this for the night except for right now. Um, I don't remember the exact number of what that container was. But in our RA has a uh, grant program. Okay. Where they'll kick us back some money if we're accepted for the grant, and practically nobody is refused. They'll do 20, what was the other percentage they were talking about? Talking about up almost up to 50 percent. Almost up to 50 percent. Right now they are at 20 percent of a purchase. Okay. Um, so the containers. You mean just one of those like big, big box shipping yeah, containers? Yeah, yeah, it's just like that. You can buy a 20 footer. Okay. I would set it on top of the concrete pad that we have where we put our appliances and our tires. Uh, tires have to be undercover by state law. Okay. They're not right now, so we don't have an undercover to put them. Right. Um, but that way, they'd be behind. They'd be in there. We could put the appliances in there as as need be, but mostly for the tires. Okay. Uh, the appliances aren't that critical because they don't hold water. You know, we flip them around. Yeah. And the tires are metal file, so yeah. Because you have to 
that. Yeah, and the metal file goes once every month and a half. What's that so. 20 foot one cost? I don't recall the off the top of my head. Like I said, I wasn't really prepared for that one for the night. It's it was around thirty-two hundred dollars for it. Was spelled down come fifties, fifty-threes, twenties, some forties and fifty-threes. So, but all right, the area that we have to put it would be just big enough for twenty, without sticking way out one way or the other. And we don't need that much space for that. That the only thing we yeah. saw in Lee that was it looked. It was a all little them all over the place. Yeah, they had a, a <laughs> yeah they had a bunch of containers. You know, it wasn't. But they have several buildings where they can keep stuff in. Besides, so you know, it's our critical part is going to be having a place to put the plastic. All right. Uh, we've got some, well, a couple of bales right now in with the cardboard, but we've also now started collecting paper because it's not. You know, we don't do the single screen anymore. Right. Right. I think I've got eleven called a Gaylord big cardboard box full of paper that can be shipped with the cardboard as one lump. It's a split load. You don't make quite as much on it, but we're still not paying what we were through right. through uh, single screen. So we're making something like instead of throwing it away. Yeah, 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 or at least breaking even. So versus paying big money. This is all a work in progress on some of it. Uh, I have no doubt that probably down the road, I don't know when, we may think about splitting out some of the different plastics. But that's not right now. That's the, you know, there is a little bit of money to be made in different places now. As I thought, you know, Jones and worth more than mixing it up with the colors. And yeah. All right. But it requires more area, more right. storage space, and more storage space for the base. So. And another thing we over there, over there today, we noticed they have scales. They weigh their bales before they ship them, so they know exactly what they get. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're just guessing. And, and they're weighing them. People that bring in stuff, and, uh, not it's not a drive on scale, but they have a scale where they can weigh their demos. Demos. Yeah. 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 So you're getting some accurate, you know. Right. So there might be something we're thinking. We just charge by the load, right? We don't. Yeah. Uh, Pick up truck load, half the cup truck load. Yeah. Yeah. Or if it's you know a small handful. It's, sure. Yeah. It's it's. I won't say it's a shoe by the number. We try to keep it as fair as possible. So, um, so I mean, the ideal thing would be to add some sort of a quantity hut. Um, it's just that, a three-sided. That's on the CIP for next year, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it may be that we talked about it back then. It didn't make it yeah, this year. Okay, well, it was yeah. season um, we brought it yeah. last year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the containers. I mean, even if we buy a container, even if we buy a container or two, it's still something that we can use after the quantity hut. Yeah. It, or something that we can sell. So you know, once we once we no longer need it. But um, I'll try to get some accurate numbers on I'm that. Still anticipating the quantity hut, even if we bought two uh, containers. I think I, I think I probably would. Yeah, um, primarily for the plastics, and, and maybe for the for the paper. So, because you're going to have a trailer load in right. order to make it cost effective to ship. Um, a trailer load of cardboard is upwards of 48 bales of cardboard, so it's a lot. I think I've got 30 over there right now, and that's all inside. The that's way inside way the existing ones in right now. Oh, yeah, we got some equipment in there. We're going to move out to get. We're going to have to put more space in there. But, uh, Okay. Yeah, we put like the big mower that we bought last year, just tucked over there. The police have an old signboard in there. Uh, we have two or three other things we put in there just to store for the winter. We could probably look into making a lean tool off the back side of the shed. Uh, it's all shed. We could probably store some stuff in a lean tool. Something we can build ourselves. And, and, you know, very, and if we can look at what it would cost to do that. Get some of that stuff out with the weather. You know, that's basically keep the snow. Right. Your septic system. Your septic no, the septic right we could go to the right side of the We're going to find a place somewhere. Right. I mean, yeah. we could build a lean to the left. Yeah. Well, that be something worth thinking about. We need to look at some right. so price on that. So stuff we can do. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we have to keep it dry. Things have to be dry when you recycle. Fair enough. Right. I mean, that's like put a cover over the dumpsters. I mean, over, over the bins because you're bailing ice, you're bailing ice. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I noticed when I put my glass in last Saturday that it was there was quite a bit of water. Yeah, I'm sure 
comes out once you start. It's not. For the most part, oh, the problem is it goes over the scales first, yeah, okay. then they go up and dump it, and yeah, you're actually paying for some water. We're going to cut some holes actually in the front of that mm -hmm. because the of the way, way it sits. Down. The door's in the back, yep. which is the way it has to go in, but the way it sits is slightly sloped to the front. So we're going to go in and cut a couple of holes in that with the torch. Drain. Yeah, to make some drain in the front of it. So cool. um, that was dumped two weeks ago. Right. Yeah. And that was, was it 11,000? Almost 12,000 tons. I mean, almost 12 tons. So almost 24,000 pounds of glass. Yeah, pulled out of the recycling. Yeah. 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 Right. So instead of, if we were still doing single screen, which I think was $65 a ton, or even MSW $65 a ton, um, yeah. the glass is 35 So we're still saving some money there. So, yep. That's all we can do is just keep working towards yeah, we try to save what we can. We're all appreciative. And it's it's not the work. So okay. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anything else for uh no. do you have anything else for us? No, I think that's enough. I think, uh, well we've got the dog way signs that will um what we're looking to get the equation with. Uh we're gonna try to get them to oh, yeah. I was gonna well so uh, we have an appointment for a dog down the village bed. So he bought the last round of signs. I was going to ask him where he got them from. Okay. He donated them because he was tired of seeing them all around. Us. Makes him look bad too. Though, so it's everywhere we go. So it's, people just assume it's his clients coming in when they're really lost. Anyways. Yeah, there's plenty of it on Facebook. Right yeah. Oh, I know. I saw it not too long ago. I didn't see it when I first came. Anyways. Um, <coughs> let me ask him where um, yeah. I'm going to see him. I think it's this Friday. And then. Um, I'll let you know and we can... I can check to a car sign. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Probably actually, you know, why don't we get through that, Jerry? It's going to be a lot cheaper. We just take a picture of what is there now. We can just get the same thing. Do you know it's just something wrong? I don't know what it says. I think it's it an says... RSA. Is it on the yeah. side? I don't know if you would <laughs> want it to be on the side <coughs> because it would help more with stormwater. Oh, no, gotcha. Reference the RSA. Is it what per rounds for ordinance now? No, well, I don't know what it says. I don't, like I don't know. So I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen it. No, well, maybe we'll work with Caroline so we can get the statue. The reference for that then. That's more tea. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, we gotta, let me step this one right. up. Okay. <laughs> I went to a meeting uh, last Monday or Wednesday, whatever day it was, in Acton. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a company come in. There's a company that just bought a large asphalt and gravel company up in Limerick. Limerick. Uh -huh. okay. It was uh, F.I. Carroll. <coughs> company, it all state. All state. All state asphalt. asphalt just bought it. And all state uh, asphalt. The, the one on, uh, what are I can't remember. Is it, in, is it in Limerick? On the road to Limerick. Yeah, 20. Right? Yes, yeah. that big, very big, beautiful. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. that has just been sold. Uh -huh. um, the gentleman that owns it decided, the family that owns it, yeah, they, uh, well, then, let's just say they made them an offer they couldn't review it. And they did. I know what the number was. Um, so, and I would have taken it too. Well, anyway, this company is coming in. They're on a map. They're actually all over the Northeast. Uh, this all state asphalt company. They're the company that supplies the asphalt to all the hot topic companies. Okay. Well, they also offer a uh, another product called chip sealing. Okay. And we haven't come in to act and they just give us an overview of what they can do. And, it's something that they weren't offering when F.I. Carroll was doing it. Right. <coughs> okay. Okay. But now that they own it, they're more than happy to more, offer more things. Okay. So sitting through that, there's an act in Selectman. I'm listening to it, and I'm thinking about out of town, and I'm thinking about down here. So, so what is this product? That well, what they do is they come in, and they yeah. spray down a hot asphalt mix, uh -huh. and then they come over it with granite chips over the top of it. Okay. And it's uh, three eighths of an inch granite chip. Yeah. Uh, it seal off. It seals the cracks in the road, and it uh, gives another layer of rock over the top, just like your hot, you know, your hot top is rock. Right. Um, your asphalt. Or oh, they can do what's called a double. They put a half inch down and three eighths over the top of that as well. So it doesn't work on every road. It wouldn't work on Saligo. It needs to have a road with a good base. All right. But it's something that. May save some of our smaller roads that <coughs> save us from putting uh, full. Another option. Yeah. What, what's the. <coughs> I expect to see on some of it is 
10 years, adding 10 years yeah, to the life of the world. Yeah. yeah, yeah, 8 to 10 year. And the cost is probably is around it's just over half of what it costs to do a, an asphalt. Or uh, a full you know, one, layer, well, or one, layer, one, one layer, an inch and a half. Okay. So, okay. for instance, if you're thinking, um, I don't know, yeah, maybe a pick a road, heritage. yeah, pick a road like Heritage, okay? The, yeah. Most of Heritage is, is in pretty decent shape. We've got the two spots that we box cut, right. so you'd want to go back in there and add another layer of hot top to that to bring that to where it should be, but then you could go over the whole road with this for maybe a third less or better. So we've actually got them coming down just to do a coming into Marty, an assessment and to give an idea. And give us a five-year plan if, they, if we're interested. Yeah. But we're going to look at our roads and see what's available that can be fixed that way and what can't be. And the other thing they do would do... One road that you're familiar with, Route 9 yeah. in Barrington, that goes out to Route 4. Cable's corner to Route 4 was chip sealed almost 10 years ago, and that road still... Hmm. In halfway decent shape. And I believe this is just what they did on Route 4 from South Berwick to North Berwick. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That road does feel a little rougher. And it is a little little rougher the texture. The, the, it's the noise level, but yeah. yeah. It doesn't have any sand. The people aren't in this going product. 60, hopefully, the heritage. No. No. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are some smaller roads that, I mean, Jesse Doe, for instance. Sure. You know, a road like that. So, what would we expect to get? So, let's just say we do the regular plan for the rest of the average. How many years would we expect to get out of that? Well, I would hope to get at least 10 years out of it, about yeah. 10 to 15. If we, if, that's if we just finish what, the overlay in it now, right. instead of doing the, you know, it should have overlay. Right. <coughs> Especially with these other companies, I've had other companies. So there's no real difference then. Well, yeah, because you're saving. Well, I mean, besides the price, I mean, Time-wise, maybe time not, price-wise. Price -wise. <coughs> sure, no, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. But it would be about the same, about 10 years or so, life expectancy yeah. again. Yeah. So, yeah. But it's something we're looking at. It's nothing we want an answer on. It's just more things that we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're looking at. A way to yeah. get more done for your buck. Yeah. You know, some of the roads that we're looking at further down the road that are available to put this stuff on now, and get 10 years out of it so we can push stuff out. Push Another three out. to five years, depending on what bare room looked like. That would right. be one that you could do it on. You know, because you don't need to reclaim it. You don't need, not necessarily have to put another inch and a half on it. All right. But you could go and put something like this down. And it's stuff that it, it isn't new. It's not new technology. It's right. out there. It just hasn't been in this area used. They stop doing it around here because they don't want to affect these other plants that they're selling the asphalt to. Yeah. Yeah, right. they own. <laughs> gotcha. So, gotcha. Yeah. They're supplying all the asphalt to yeah. all the other hey, pretty much. Yeah. 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 We put them out of the uh, market. Why would they put them It's not just the chip sealing. Them. They have. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. there's a number of different ways. I don't know if you remember a year ago they used to tar a road and they put the sand on it. Yeah. 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 They, they still do that. Yeah. yeah. I don't advocate that for here, but, you know. They can actually do a dirt road and make it a paved road by yeah. mixing the stuff in place. They get cold. Uh, asphalt. They got it's six different products. Yeah. I'm looking at it over the weekend, yeah. oh. and we got a brochure and all that stuff. So all right. yeah. they're going to come down, look at our roads. He's bringing a new Hampshire yeah. salesman with him, so we can look at stuff and see, you know, see what we can they can offer. Yeah. It just looked interesting. I mean, I think we we may use some of it in Acton. We don't have a lot of roads we can do it on. We got some that need full work, you know, reclaiming like like down here. But I think there's some. We got a lot more, more roads out there in Acton than we have. So. Uh, yeah, we got about 50. A little over 50 miles of road, of road miles. Uh, so, yeah, we got you know, a fair amount, but uh, half of our town is in decent shape, the other half has been neglected. We had two road agents. We still have two road agents. Yeah. More dysfunctional. We tried to change that. Oh. <laughs> we tried to change it, but the town is just stuck in their ways. They don't want to change it. And they're elected. So, yeah. But right now we have one appointed, one elected. Because last fall, both of us quit. So for different reasons, and they don't own their own equipment. No, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I think we own a shovel. You told me that. Yeah. <laughs> Manual shovel, like that's it. Madbury did too. They contracted everything out. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Was, <coughs> was the road agent. So I understand. Yeah. Yeah. And they Pretty just contracted good. everything out. They didn't do anything out. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. All right. So. So anyway, just another option. Information out there. Yeah. 
know, I mean, we haven't sat down on the road plan again, so right. he's something we can look at and they get numbers for us or whatever. Okay. You know, he's worth looking at. And once we look at it, we may say, you don't like this idea. Yeah. No, this isn't going to work. Well, it's, work. it's possible to, to finish all the work we wanted to do this year at a fraction of or half the cost. Mm -hmm. We could do another road. Because you said, I mean, that's we may be able to stretch out. And Sligo is one of our worst ones right now. Yeah. Not for that. Not for that. Save it on another program. Save it, yeah, save it on the other and give us a little more money to use right. down on Sligo right. to right. go an extra or whatever. And, you know, sure, Sligo, right. I think, is still going to be a two, two plus year project. Right. But, right. Yeah. Well, yeah, oh, I can't imagine they could plan the people that live down there wouldn't complain they did more. Right. Right. Yeah. right. I mean, if we can get to the Gully, if we can get to Pinch Hill from Bear Road. That would be fabulous, fabulous, actually. Yeah, yeah. That, that would, that's kind of our that's dream that. target. Biggest, right. so. biggest issue right now with yeah. that road. Yeah. yeah. It is terrible. Yeah. yeah, it's terrible. And the guy that plows it would love it, too. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> he would. <laughs> Get right yeah, off. He's just for that reason. <laughs> Any idea what's going on with General Sullivan? Is that just seasonal now? But I got a feeling it's a couple of topics. Speaking of that. So, what happened, speaking of culverts and frost and everything else, what's going on with the, the Legion one? I haven't talked to you since. I went down and checked it out. It's, it's starting to come back. It's got to be frost, but there's right. going to be something going on. Right. Right. The water has to have gotten in between the road and the... Yeah. So we're going to have to look at that again. Okay. The snow's out of the way, so we can probably right. throw a camera down through the pipe or whatever. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. Good. No, the, yeah, it's like General Sullivan on that further end. It's, uh, my my mom lives yeah. towards the Route Four side. Mm -hmm. Drove her home from the election. And she's it's like right on the coast. It's not quite as bad as what heritage was. No, no, it's, it's still pretty rough. I mean, I plowed down through the. That didn't move. It's pretty bad. That mm -hmm. didn't move. This she just lived down no, the very end. She she lives just before the corner, like yeah. the the sharp right. corner okay. that goes up to yeah. Route Four. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, had to get that jump out from under there. There was no doubt about that. That was the yeah. issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But General Sullivan might be a candidate for this process. Once you fix the bad spots, mm -hmm. it looks yeah. like they did a partial repair of a culvert there. Could be. They cut out, you know, maybe a section of it and just did part of it instead of doing the whole thing. It looks like it's washing out behind that. On General John? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You were saying that something wasn't done the right way, George? I'm not sure. <laughs> <If>, <laughs> Or be surprised. I would not dig and do a partial cover. You, you do it all or not. But I mean, it looks like they did an eight foot square where they collapsed there before and they just <coughs> fixed it and filled it in or whatever. Mm -hmm. But now it looks like it's collapsed behind that eight foot square now more towards the center of the road. So you can even see the patch. And that's where it right. As I know that it looks like, it looks like the cover's collapsed. You know, if, if that was the case. But Great. Hey. Well, thank you guys for thank everything you. you've been doing. Great for information. Thank you. I know you guys were over at the services too. Uh, was, I, was, I was here doing the town. <laughs> I know yeah. you're both involved the, the fire service yeah. one way or another. Yeah. 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 Current, so thank you for yeah. what you do. So. Yeah. You know, it's happened It's only twice since I've been involved. And one of them was here. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. Bobby Bacaris, and we, I was on the fire department a year when that happened. Now I'm out of it, pretty much. But yeah. well, you worked in Burwick too, so you must have had yeah, some running into them. Right there. And you were in Burwick. Joel, 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 I, I was right. under the fire, fire department too. Ten so. years over there. Yeah. So. But Joel got on when I was in the highway department, and we were in the same union over there. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's. Well, it's kind of you two, if you guys need things, if you want. No, uh, I, I hadn't known him either. He he was he just joined Acton as well as a per diem. Oh right. Five, five. Because we have, we have per diems that kind of yeah. run the envelopes, and he had just added like a few weeks ago, a month earlier, and I didn't have a meeting. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate, but they Yeah. That type of business it is. Yeah, it's it, and the way the house is being built today, it's just happening more yeah. often than you think. Yeah, very well. well, thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. All, right. All right. So if, if everyone's okay, and there's a rec, I think some of a rec. Celia probably wants to bring her children home. Yeah. Come on up, Celia. Let's get this done so you can. Uh, not that we'll kick you out, but. No, I, they would be more comfortable. At they home. probably would be more comfortable at home. So. I can only keep them quiet and settled for so long. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Right? Can relate. So we have a new.
new revised um, grant, right? Yes. Application. Same um, company we're mm -hmm. applying for. Yeah. Um, we've just changed what we're asking for. Yeah. We take out the movie license, thinking it's a far reach for this uh, agency. For this yeah. And we kept the Wentworth House and then we added a magician, something fun for okay. the camp for all the campers. Okay. And then um, that is about all we did. So the grant changed about $50. But everything else is the same. It yep. was just uh, substituting the movie license uh, FTs for the budget. Yep. Everything else is the same? Everything else seems to be the same. All right. You've reviewed it too? Uh, yes. Okay. Miles, do you have any yep. questions or concerns? Good. All right. So, why don't we uh, need a motion? Yeah. So, <coughs> I'll do I'll, I'll our move that we. Uh, sign off on yep. the. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll make a motion that we uh, accept the uh, revised grant. Oh, you've got uh, a grant of that. Yes. Um, so what is the new number? Or I don't even know. 800. 800, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that might be okay. To uh, authorize the uh, chair of the select board to sign the grant for $800. Oh. For the Education oh. Foundation. Second that. Any other questions or anything? All right. So. And that's not me, I'm, I'm the requester, I guess. All those favor say aye. 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 So. Okay. All right, thank you for all your work on that, Sadie. No problem. You keep it, you got it. Um, get that, actually, um, get that can I scan it and email it to you tomorrow? That would be better. Because I only have an email address for the and now we have uh, the rec job yes. again. Uh, oh. Yes. We edited them. You edited them. <laughs> Unfortunately. After I already approved them, we approved them. Yeah. What did you change? Um. So I don't have to read the entire thing again. We changed the person that the, there was. The supervisor is now changed to a delegate instead of the chairs, in case the chairs are not doing the actual. So, um, we were trying to move them towards something that could be reused year after year, okay. not to assume that the chairs would be the ones interacting. Gotcha. With the okay. All right. And right. due to structural changes that we made, a lot has changed um, on the team camp director because previously they were an assistant camp. Right. To, so we had to go in and change that they are okay. no longer reporting to the camp director. Gotcha. They, we had to go in and change the structure of who they are reporting to and so forth. And the hours for the camp, for team camp, are different, but they so that had to be revised because it reflected Camp Raleigh hours. Okay. Okay. So those are the, those are the changes. Those are the substantive changes. There's a little bit about camp director duties, team camp director duties. Um, to reflect the fact that they're doing more um, director activities, they have to be there for the checking, all, all of the checking in and checking out of the kids and, and gotcha. making sure that payroll comes to my office and, and like that. And, and, all. All right, good. Yes. and then we made a slight change on the um, counselors, just putting in a wage because some people on the committee thought that was really important. We have that the wage out. And, and replaced it with dependent upon experience and qualifications. But when we got the group together, the group really decided that it was better to put some kind of wage there since they felt that some people would look over job opportunities that didn't specify something. That's a good point. Yeah. Not, not a bad point. Is still the wage is the same? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, the camp counselor has um, talked about that, their experience being two years of child care. On the bottom, two years preferred. Gotcha. Prior um, experience working with children is preferred, to, um, and two years of camp experience. Gotcha. All right. It's kind of hard to require a 16 year old to have two years working experience. And, Hold well, on. So. All right, Miles, any questions or concerns? No questions. All right. Um, so I'll make a motion to um, accept the revised, revised <laughs> job descriptions for the um, Camp Raleigh. And Team Camp. And Team Camp. I'll second that. 
All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. You're all set. Thank, thank you. Thank you for all your work on this. Yes, really for sure. No problem. And I will probably be seeing you again this spring for other opportunities. All right. Perfect. We like that. We like that. All right. So what do we have nice next? Um, Bob did say he'd be in, but not until around 7.30. 7.30. It is 7.30 now. So, we're going to do Walker and have him come in. Um, yeah, let's do that. If, um, oh, wait a second. I know you'd be at the house. We'll go under non-public and then if Bob shows up, he has a non-public on there, too. Okay. We'll just, uh, have him knock on the door or whatever on the window and, um, have, we'll, Go out for welfare and come back. For, um, yep. So what I'd like to do is we'll go into non-public in the moment for each welfare. Then if Bob arrives, we'll segue into that non-public. So then we don't have many people come in. Not in, the not in, rest not in of, yeah. Okay. All right. So in a motion to go into non-public. I, I move we go into non-public for welfare. I second that. And we have a roll call. Miles. Yes. Mike. Yes. We are not. Oh, we can get up. Yes, get up. I think she said. It's Okay. So we are back in the public session. Did you turn another thing back on? Yes. All right. No, thank you. What else you have I have one item for the board, and this is the yearly signature for the policies and procedures for the town of Rollins the Police Department. Now that we've had the elections and three of you are official, we set the assignment, acknowledging that uh Change the rules and maintain our rules and regulations. Has anything changed since the last time we signed this? Yeah, everything minor, just no procedural changes. Okay. Minor wording here and there. Nothing that affects the dollar or, or anything like that. Outside are yep. much better than the old lights. They do a really good job of the lights, so I'm happy to hear about that. Okay. And we have your um, the salary request information to review, and we will uh, more likely take it up at next week's board meeting, which isn't yeah. going to happen. Yeah. Because we're going to be meeting early. And briefly. And briefly. Okay. All right. We might be able to. Yeah, we might be able to. I mean, how long of a discussion do you think? Well, I guess it depends on how long. Depends on whether you're on the same very lengthy conversation, you never know. Usually the ones we think don't take very long are the ones that take the longest. So, uh, but anyway, so we're going to be um, coming in here for a very brief meeting and then meeting you all over at the fire station, station and coming back here, here yeah. to meet with the department. Yeah. Uh, downstairs, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Fine. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. All right. Where are we now? Town administration. Town meeting operating budget. PC or BOS. Explain this to me again. So this is not something that needs to be decided tonight, but yeah. it's something that I want the board to be thinking oh, about. Oh, that's right. So, okay. Obviously, we, the, the budget that was passed was the, the bottom line was the, the recommended the budget. budget. Right, um, and so the select board started out with some different ideas about right, its right, budget right. goals, and I just wanted to revisit that and see um, which path you felt we're on. Right. Okay. Well, um, it all depends on what, what what the conversation looks like for salaries. Well, probably. right, and that was the biggest uh, sticking point, I think. Right. So. I, I want to. Um, I I I I think there's um, some math to be done to see if we can adopt, you know, what we can, you know, maybe we can reach some of each goals or, or you know, but let's that would be nice if we could do that. work with the budget and, and do some math. I just want you all thinking about mm -hmm. it. Perfect. The budget committee secretary, you will notice that there is not a secretary sitting to your right, Miles. The uh, person that we thought we were hiring um, didn't show up, right? So we're reaching we out to, to someone else. Um, I'm assuming to the uh, 
to the person. Um, that there's the another partner. candidate that I'm hopeful will um, reach back out. Um, so okay. far, not. So we'll see what happens. Okay. That. Well, then we may be posting it again. Then. But clearly, the person didn't show up for training or and fingerprinting and all that stuff. So the guy here tonight either. So more likely not going to work out. Building permit form and process. I'm excited. Yes. Let's see. You have a new copy there. Um, I've incorporated changes requested by others. Um, I, 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 are there any building permits for that? There, there are, are, actually. Are there? There's one. Or something. This, this is a certificate of occupancy. Oh, no. no. Okay. No, so right. I'll go in the front office. I know there's some. Um, I'll look at, you can look at Tom's revisions to see. That'll give you some of them. Scratched out building permits, and construction permit. Right at the top, but where it says description of proposed work, doesn't it? Maybe she already made the changes. Maybe it said something else first. Okay. Right. I like those terms. Note that there is text on the reverse side. Um, that's the old form. Page two really didn't change. Okay. So you have a page one? Uh, right. That's page one. The original. So these are Tom's changes. He right. like to you already change. made them in here. Um, I in what I um, printed out for you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But compared to the old, yes. I just wanted to um, in this one that he presented. With his corrections, you could just see how they were modified. So he wanted to call it a construction permit because it is not just a building permit, but it's an electrical and mechanical and plumbing permit and all these. Just so there's no ambiguity. Right, um, and because it's not always about building. So sure. a construction permit, it has more um, categories to check off yep. about what the nature of the work is to be done. It, it reflects his signature for him. Yep. Um, being the person for a key to be the one to sign yeah. off on them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. We'll get rid of the building permit number and just call it a permit number. Yeah. Um, we added sense. a spot to put the license number for the contractor. Uh -huh. And his contact information, um, because he was handwriting that in. Seems to make a lot of sense to me, too. So in anticipation of this conversation, I have been looking at other communities uh -huh. and what they do. And we may not be able to do this. It may have to be a revision to the to the um, zoning ordinance. But a lot of towns will charge you double the permit fee if you apply for it after the work has been done. Uh -huh. So if you get caught, let's just say, Doing work without um, now, there's always emergencies. Look, if your roof blows off and you got to get a roofer in, I think that that I can't imagine the select board would say, like, we but if get, we get, you a letter. <laughs> but if we had to send you a letter because we know you were doing stuff and you didn't get one, yeah, you know, a lot of towns uh, I've been noticing have been saying that they'll charge a double, which I thought was interesting. But I don't know if we can do that because the fees are set here. I think they're set in the. Um, they I don't, they don't believe that they are. No? Are they set by the select board? I believe that they are. Proposed by the planning board and then, uh, then um, actually set in place by the select board. Then. Hmm. Well, something to think about. We don't have to do it um, tonight, but it's just something to think about. That was good. To me. Yep, I like it. I like that there's more Canada doors. Well, I, I don't understand why owner occupied would have been. That's why we changed it. It wasn't really so, helpful. I think what it was trying to ascertain is, are you doing the work yourself? It just wasn't really asking it very effectively. Oh. But I think that was the goal All of right. that. Yeah. No, so, you know, we, every time we revise this form, it gets a little better. So, mm -hmm. I mean, is it perfect now? Probably not. We'll probably figure out that we should have done something slightly different. We can... Um, 
modification again. If we so there's a to. there's a signature line for the building inspector only, which is was the the plan that had been the goal yeah. of you know one of the goals of, right. of that um, amendment to the zoning ordinance. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we could, if it was your will, um, put something like, you know, board member slash building yeah. inspector or something like that. If you wanted to delegate one of you to be able to fill in in his stead or, or, you know, add flexibility to it, I don't know if you would find that to be necessary. You could just use select board slash or designate. Yeah, I, I, I don't, yeah, I, I, I just feel like this doesn't offer any flexibility. And this says just the building inspector will do it. What happens if Tom has the flu? He's exactly. out for a week or two. But that's what came to my mind. Okay, so um, still one signature line, and then just get rid of building inspector and add select board or designate. Slash, how about a slash? Are you like, oh, okay like slash. with that? Yeah. Select board or slash building inspector. And the, the intention is that the building inspector would actually handle this process. Right. Mm -hmm. um, certainly a little more streamlined and uh, user friendly, applicant friendly, I would imagine. But well, it should also allow for a much faster turnaround, which will eliminate a lot of frustration. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. Well, all right, so you're going to make that change and then... Uh, Are you all okay with this, contingent upon that change? I am. Awesome, thank you. All right. So why don't we do, uh, why don't we do this then? Um, we'll have a motion to accept the, the new uh, construction permit and, and adding... Um, the building inspector as someone who can approve building permits. Okay. For the ordinance. So, so I'll make a motion to accept the uh, revised uh, construction permit. Mm -hmm. um, and is it one motion covered? Mm -hmm. um, and authorize the building inspector to sign. Uh, second. Construction. Any, other, any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 aye opposed? Okay. Moving right along, department head meetings. Uh, it's going to be first one's already. I've already said April fifth. It's going to be the first quarterly meeting mm -hmm. in this room at eight a.m. I believe on that Friday. So stay tuned for the update. All right, policy review. Um, I'd like to table all three of these. Yes, we can yes. add if we want to, but these are supposed to be uh, placeholders for over the year for things for us to be working on. We can certainly add to them if we need to. Yep. Brings us to town administration. Oh, no, we didn't skip anything, right? Like that. I, don't, I don't think so. Um, board member activities. Um, there's a ZBA meeting tomorrow night that I plan to attend. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a stormwater committee meeting on Thursday the 21st. I believe is here. Okay. That's it. Okay. Historical committee meeting tomorrow night. I thought it might pop in. Uh, I don't know how long that meeting will actually last. Um, but I'd like to listen to a little bit of the ZBA conversation as well. So, what time is that? Is that at 7 as well? That's at 7. Yes. Yeah. I guess I won't be able to hear any of it then. I think we start at 7 also. Oh well. Um, all right. Building permit. We don't have any building permits, but we have a certificate of occupancy. Okay, so it's uh, four two sixteen Summersworth Road. Got new construction over there. Mr. So Clark has uh, reviewed it, filled it out. Okay, fifty dollar fee. So we do have a land use change tax warrant um, for $9,200 at Amy Roberts Road 
1.21 acres removed from current use. So this is asking for each of our signatures. Right. Um, but 
you or the yeah, 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 yeah. So, Alright, I'll second those, I guess. All those in favor of appointing Chris Benedetto, Christian Pleco, and City Leopold and Charpentier, they say aye. 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 Their names say yeah, that's all right. Alright, space needs. Denise had been on it before, so why don't we hold off? I don't know if she wants to still serve on that. Yeah. I know there were some folks that expressed interest uh, in wanting to serve on that as well, so. Um, uh, we just wait and see on that one. Yeah, also with the rec committee, um, I think we can probably appoint uh, those folks, I guess. But I mean, that's another one that needs one to. They're all the same folks, right? With the exception of one person that wanted to be uh, added right. on for someone that didn't want to be on again. So that's um, this is, it was Kelly Anderson, Lori Hess. Celia Leopold, Kathy Roselli, Dee Meehock, and David Josco. So, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then with the exhibition, that's seven. Okay. I don't imagine you'd want to, uh, have to go any higher than that. Even that is. That's a lot of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a technical working, you know, it's, it's, it's on the ground, right? Yeah. On that department. It's a little bit different that way on that port. Right. Do, I have any do, you, do you think we should hold off or go ahead? I think we can go ahead. Are they, um... They're meeting again on the 27th. All right, so we kind of have to, I guess. Yes. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion to appoint Kelly Anderson, Lori Huss, Celia Leopold, Kathy Rizzelli, Dee Neenhock, David Josco to the Recreation Committee. All right, I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Highway safety. This one we can do because these are all alive. So the following are ex officios, Chief Ducharme, Chief Rutherford, uh, Road Agent Gilmet, um, or their designees, obviously, one of them can make it, they send them yep. their designee, uh, and then Mike Gillis, uh, Miles England, and Harry Knowles have uh, expressed interest. Now, do you want to stay on that, or? Yeah, I'll stay on that. Okay. Um, should I be ex officio on that as mm -hmm. well? I don't know how that works. Mm -hmm. Have we had, um, as, as I don't think it's had an ex officio, ex officio one? Okay. but that doesn't mean you can't, you can't be. I just, right. I just don't know. Well, if you want to stay, do you want to stay on? Do you have interest yeah. in staying yeah, on? So. Well, then, if that's what's going to take you, then the ex officio. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> All right. So, I'll move then, because you're one of the names. That we we appoint Chief Ducharme, Chief Rutherford, Road Agent Gil Mack, and Slutman in England as ex officio members, and appoint Mike Gillis and Harry Knowles as regular members. I'll second that. All, right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Stormwater Committee. That's another one where you, <laughs> you need this one right away, right? Yep. So we currently have Paul Casalt. George Gilmet as ex officio, Mike LaPointe, Jonathan Ordway, Miles England as ex officio, and Zachary Little has expressed interest in serving. Uh, I'll second that. Did you make a motion? Yeah. I will because you're a member, I guess. Okay. So ex officio member. Um, all right. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. Library trustee, um, we, I, we have sent an email to the library trustees. See if they have a recommendation as to who they would like us to appoint. Um, Lorraine Hansen has expressed interest in doing it. I think she's uh, she just cycle off maybe as a trustee yeah, of things. I don't know what she has in the past. I don't know. But um, I have any reason to not believe that Lorraine doesn't have their blessing. But um, we should get it's we should get who they recommend. I mean, I think that's just right way to go. So uh, the Energy Committee, so far we have two names of folks that have wanted to join it. Um, um, and we can appoint them if they want, and then we can always appoint extra people to it. I mean, it's sort of getting back up off its feet. So right. uh, David Josco and Kenneth Kelsey have both expressed interest in serving on that. i say more power to them. Um, I'll, I'll move to a point. Uh, David 
Josco and Kenneth Kelsey to the energy committee. I'll second that and thank them for their willingness. Mm -hmm. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. So we've tabled library trustee, we tabled space needs, it's waiting for Denise. I think that was it, right? Oh, and the ex officios on budget rec. What, do you have interest in saying on planning or? Um, I don't know if it makes more sense for you to be ex officio on planning. I mean, I'm not trying to pass it off because I did so okay. show up, but uh, you meaning Carolyn. Oh, I don't know what I mean. Huh? <laughs> As the town administrator? Yeah. We can't do that now, right? Isn't that one of the things you we can, can do? do that. Is that, does that? And we don't fall into any weird, like Portsmouth, right? Had their town manager, or city manager rather, do it, but he wasn't a resident. Or the deputy manager was serving, and she lived in Kittery or something. So there was an issue. She could serve on it as uh, in her position, but then there was some legal rank. It doesn't matter because you live in the town of Rome. So. Yes, but I don't think it met, you know, I don't know what the story is with that, but if, you know, in my professional capacity, I can serve as the ex officio. Right. We've already determined that it's not um, the best of circumstances to serve as a resident on that board right. while also working right. in this capacity. So, right. not that there's any legal conflict, but it's just not the best to serve on the planning board. So, I would be happy to serve on the planning board. All right, so you were. Miles, are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. All right, so Miles has moved that we appoint uh, the town uh, administrator to the planning board as our ex officio, and I will second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Enjoy. Sure. You say that now. Wait and see if um, Denise wants to serve on budget and rec. All right, so that will take care. I'm sorry I fell off the agenda. And if she has any <coughs> huge objections, any people we appointed, well, we can do that, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, I couldn't imagine. But who knows? We thank everyone for their willingness to serve, for sure. All right, what do we have here? So that is um, salary adjustments for non-police employees, including the library. Not all of them um, reflect pay increases, but we can give employees non-hires, for example. Um, but the department has recommendations. They reflect their recommendations. So 2% for the part regular part-time person at the highway department. And then percent for one transportation that the narrative one. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody else is, is new. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it um, it's a spreadsheet with the hours earned, um, the hours worked so far year to date so that it calculates retro pay. So right. I'm looking for an approval of the new hourly rate. You can see what the existing hourly rate is and mm -hmm. also um, the retro pay. Tomorrow night is the ZBA's meeting at uh, 7 p.m. in this room. 
to hear the following appeals. Um, Days Auto Salvage is seeking an appeal from an administrative decision. And um, if that doesn't go through for them, they're also seeking a variance to, from Section 5.2 of the Non-Conforming Use and Section 6.2 of these regulations of the Ramos Rezoning Ordinance to allow the permittable dispatch and storage of towing vehicles at its place of business. So, that's tomorrow night. And we have a purchase order. How have you make the motion? Um, I'll make a, a move to purchase order 1604 to homegrown eats for $204 for lunch and dinner for town election. We'll second that, and it's under budget, so there you have it. Perfect. And it was a budget for 275 so okay. there you go. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Uh, purchase, all those in favor of purchase order 1604 say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. All right. I think, unless I've screwed up something else, that was the last thing on the agenda besides uh, community info. And so thank you for bringing that up. I am working on a job description that I will bring to the board for approval. Not next week, because I think next week's too kind crazy full, to yeah. more. Yeah. Um, so I would hope for the following week. Okay. Thank you for reminding us. Yeah. Just take that over the other I think that brings us to committee input. Yes. I noticed when you were going through committees, uh, CIP wasn't brought up. There used to be a CIP committee. There still is one, I think. It's not on the sheet, though. Oh. Well, you're absolutely right. I didn't bring it off. It's not on my sheet. Well, they didn't have it. All right. So we would, uh, is it in the, um, I don't think it's, it's not in the town report either. I don't think it's been in there, right? I don't, I don't think, think uh, it's been in there either. So double check, but I'm pretty confident it's not, so. I, I recall during the budget process that there was a discussion that Denise brought up that she didn't see the value of it anymore. Not that that was a board decision, but um, I do think it bears discussion. Okay, so um, I do see value in the CIP committee, but doesn't belong to us. That's the problem. So, uh, uh, for some bizarro reason, under state statute, CIP committees are owned by planning boards. Uh, so, it really is a committee of the planning board, um, or a subcommittee of the planning board, and it was brought up by Mike Garrity, I think. And he was chair of the planning board. And when he was no longer chair of the planning board, it sort of fell on the board of selectmen to manage it. Um, it really isn't our call whether or not we have one, though. It's the planning board's call. That's, it. that's my recollection, but we should check the statute. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just as one board member, I see value in it. I don't know if it was necessarily... So I, 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 I don't know if the regular order was followed this time around, and I don't think it was done intentionally. I think it was just an inexperience of um, the select board member running it. So, so it was not part of the call for volunteers with the other committee? We should do that. So but we need to make a decision as a board as to whether or not we're going to request a planning board to keep the uh, CIP committee. But we should do that research to make sure that 
I'm not misremembering, mm -hmm. or the statute didn't change. I mean, there's nothing to say. It well, and, and I, I didn't mean to speak for um, Denise, but no, no, um, I remember her saying mm -hmm. something to that effect. I don't exactly verbatim, verbatim what she said. But thank you for the um, reminder. Well, it, it, we've been having a committee right along, but this last year there has been no meetings of the commit of a committee for the CIP. So that was my it question. It didn't meet in the fall, like prior to budget season. It had been a long time since it had. But met. but it never, you know, it like Mike said, it followed a different process and didn't meet as much as it had once. Right. I'll just leave it at that, I guess. Um, that doesn't mean it won't. Okay, thank you. Anything else? All right, well, yeah. we will adjourn at quarter to.